everyone, it's me. Who else would it be? Um, just chilling on a Saturday night. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a while. I haven't really been depressed. Um, it's like I don't even know how to explain it. Sorry. Text message from nobody important. I don't even know how to explain it. Maybe a bit manic. Um, for sure. Uh, let's see. Um, I think I haven't done, um, a video since my appointment. I, well, I did one the other day. And then I deleted it because people were leaving comments. And it just kind of irritated me. And then this one lady, I, I've been kind of like, eh, well, she left some comments and it was like, or she left one comment and it was like really, okay, I don't come on YouTube really asking for advice. I come to vent. And when I do ask for advice, I actually, you know, say it in the video, hey, uh, you know, what would you guys do? Like the one where I was like, to all my scene friends. How would you deal with this? Um, I don't know. Like, and I guess the fact that she was getting mad or disappointed or whatever, I blocked her, which I know is an immature thing to do, but it was like she was getting on me about my decisions, and it's like I never. I don't want to let people down, but I'm going to do my life, and I don't know. I mean, yes, I know that letting a certain person back into my life may not be the wisest decision, <clears throat> but it's just, um, like, okay, I don't know how to explain it, because maybe people with... I don't know maybe if you okay and I know maybe you guys might think this is an excuse or something but like when you don't have a lot of people who are really close to you in your life <clears throat> I guess maybe you're more forgiving um and like to be honest I am so I mean, like, I mean, it's gonna sound weird, cause okay, like, I really am in, in love with three people, and the fact that I'm not with any of them, I mean, like, if I was with one of them, then it wouldn't matter. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I wouldn't like cheat on one of them with another one or leave like one of them well no I would pro no <laughs> I would probably leave any of them for the English guy no um I don't know maybe not it's been years and years I'm more in love with the memory there than anything I don't even know who he is anymore and I realize that um but like and I'm not I love the Juggalo. I don't know if I'm in love with him. I mean, like, he he's wonderful in ways. And I'm a very twisted person. I have a very... I have a dark side that I don't let a lot of people see. Um... I, um, my roommate kind of knows it, and my ex-best friend, or whatever you want to call him, knows it. And I guess that's what makes it harder for me, because, like, not many people know that side of me, so when people do know it, and they accept it, it's, like, 
harder for me to let them go. Um, I don't know. Like, I was talking to this guy, and I thought I liked him. And apparently something I said scared him away. Because we were talking about our fantasies. <laughs> and, um, I told him what mine was. <laughs> and he, you know, like, it was just a fantasy. I never said he had to be involved or it had to be him or anything like that. You know, we were just talking and I told him what mine was and he never emailed me back again. I think because he was looking for something not so serious and he thought because I jumped and said that something more serious, he probably was like, nah man, I ain't looking for that. <laughs> Cause everything we were talking about was on the same level. I think he was just looking for a fling. And I was looking for more than a fling. <laughs> like, I guess that's where we didn't coexist. I don't know. I mean, like, and sometimes even myself, I'm like a walking contradiction. Um, seriously, self-admittedly, a, a walking contradiction. And I want to do videos that mean something. And I want to promote certain things. And I think about those. And I think about making these videos. And then I just never get around to it. And it's something I'm going to be working on. And I know I keep saying that. But definitely, I need to. Like, I had all these thoughts. Like, I was going to promote some singers. That I'm really into and I was gonna make a video about fat hate like and I know which here I am I'm being a walking contradiction again because I know that I my other channel I kind of do fat jokes um but like I feel like with that it's like owning it if you can make fun of yourself and it doesn't bother you, if you can laugh at it, then it loses its power. Like, um, like, okay, if you've seen that movie Pitch Perfect, right? How she's all like, I'm Fat Amy, you know, and they're like, Fat Amy, yeah, I call myself Fat Amy, so little twig bitches like you can't do it behind my back. <laughs> or something like that but it was just like hilarious cause that's kind of the way I look at it like I'll make fat jokes about myself not because I want to put I have low self esteem or I'm putting myself down it's because like yeah I'm fat I'm not gonna pussyfoot around it I'm like huge I'm circus lady fat look at my arms <laughs> you know I mean like look at that my arm is as big as some people's waist. <laughs> Actually, my thigh was bigger than this dude's waist that I went on a couple dates with. So, yeah. <clears throat> Actually, my thigh right now is bigger than my ex-best friend, or big, bigger than my ex-best friend's waist when I picked him up two and a half years ago and he was addicted to meth <laughs> and now that he's fat I totally make fat jokes about him <laughs> and he's he's, he's fat <laughs> I totally make fun of him because he makes fun of me all the time we have one of those relationships we make fun of each other we don't do it to hurt each other's feelings we just do it because you know I don't know <laughs> He makes jokes, I laugh, because they're funny. <laughs> and I make jokes about him. He'll talk about my weight, and I'll talk about his nose, and, you know, and we laugh. And he'll talk about how he's going to die from drinking too much, and how I'm going to die from eating too much. <laughs> and I find that, I mean, I don't know, it's not like... Funny, funny, like, ha, ha, ha. But, 
and this randomly video is going on way past the six minute mark and I still haven't made a point. <clears throat> I really don't know what I was talking about in the beginning. No, I, just this reevaluation of my life. And when I was talking to that guy, see I followed back there, I got back to what I was talking about. When I was talking to this guy, um, I, it made me realize, like, what I wanted, and, um, and I'm wrong, I feel like I'm partially wrong for wanting it, and, like, the juggalo probably would never want that. He thinks I'm weird and kinky. And he gets into it sometimes. He gets into my freakdom sometimes. He has this little dark side that occasionally comes out. But all in all, I think he wants a normal relationship. <sighs> I don't know. Like, I think he appreciates my... Sorry, I'm playing with my YouTube top. Is he? Hmm. <laughs> I think he appreciates my kinkiness. Um, but I think all in all, he wants something normal with kids and all that crap. And I think that's why we never got into a deeper relationship than what we had. Because I try the normal thing and it doesn't really work for me. Like, I don't know. Like, I sit there and I tell myself... Oh, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna get a normal job. But then I think about how bored I was when I had a normal job, and it's like, okay, am I doing this because that's what society expects of me? Like, and yeah, that, you know, like, oh, people will be like, oh, you do fetish work, and you have... <sighs> You do phone sex and you do, you have videos of stuff on the internet, like, and they look down on that and it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't look down on people for things like that. I mean, I feel like it's empowering. Um maybe not all of it of the porn industry but I feel like I'm in control of what I do there's nobody directing me nobody telling me what to do I'm my own boss I don't do hardcore which I'm not saying I'm better than anyone that does hardcore but <laughs> I don't even do softcore. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I rub my belly. Ooh, and jiggle and do exercises naked and, and, and eat food and, you know? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I, I don't know. This video is way long and I, I hate rambling too much because I feel like too many people get lost and I feel like I'm boring you talking about this stuff and I don't know I mean like I wish I didn't get bored doing normal stuff but I do <laughs> I mean like I wouldn't mind maybe being a cab driver I used to actually, when I first moved to Albuquerque, I um, drove people around in my gypsy cab. <laughs> I had this car. I missed that car. <laughs> I had a car and um, I posted on Craigslist and I know people were like, oh my god, I live dangerously, okay? <laughs> and I would give people rides for like half of what the cab would charge them. <sighs> And that's, yeah, I, I 
did that for a while when I first moved down here until I got settled then I did the phone sex thing which lately I've been reluctant to do but I don't I need to do it because I need money um <clears throat> so yeah see this is what happens when I don't do a video for a few days I think I'm gonna stop this soon and probably make like a part two or like something but okay what I was saying is like normal see bores me I mean I used to want to be a teacher but even that was like <sighs> I didn't know what I wanted to be growing up I I don't know I mean I'm not pinning it on anybody of <sighs> growing up my mom served my father she did work with him and then when he left she got sick she now she's on disability and she, I love her but she's never been a strong role model other than she, the one thing she did teach us is to love with our whole hearts be ourselves do what makes us happy and be good people and that's that's great cuz like I'm I am a really caring and sharing person and my emotions are hard for me yes opening up to people is hard for me yes but when I do open up I love with all my heart and I would give the shirt off my back for a friend and I did learn that from my mother um and my dad was a drifter kind of person we moved around a lot. He worked for himself doing repairs on houses and stuff. We moved around a lot. We never really had any stability because my dad was a wanted man. <laughs> we didn't know that until later. Um, that might be an interesting story sometime. No, but, um,. <sighs> Like, I guess maybe that's part of it. And I had a very twisted upbringing because of my father. So, like, I didn't learn normal things. And I didn't grow up wanting to achieve normal things. Um, I never grew up, like, saying, oh, I want to be a veterinarian. Or, oh, I want to be a teacher. I guess, you know, and I flip-flopped. As you know, for a while I did want to be a vet. Then I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to be a stripper. I wanted to be a porn star. <laughs> yes, how many 12-year-olds want to be a porn star? That should tell you something about my messed up childhood. <laughs> and, I don't know. I mean... So I never really knew what I wanted to do with my life. And I still don't know. And like, money isn't really a motivating goal. Like, I mean, like, I don't know if people, when they want to be like nurses and stuff, if they're really doing it for like, the money, or if they're doing it for the love of helping people. You know, when people become... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got cut off there. Whew. You know, like medical um, receptionist or medical billing or pharmacy reps or... I mean, okay, why does somebody become a pharmacy technician? Because they like dealing drugs legally? <laughs> What's the passion there? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I mean... Sometimes I think I wouldn't mind doing ultrasound technician. Um, it's mostly for the job stability and the, the money. Um, it's, it's, I don't know. <clears throat> I thought about that for a while. I could be a phlebotomist. Like, what makes somebody wants to be a phlebotomist? Because they like being vampires? They like blood? They like hurting people? <laughs> Or is it job stability and money? <clears throat> um, 
but yeah, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is getting so long. It's I've, I don't think I've ever done a video over 20 minutes. I feel like I need to stop and break it up. <sighs> if you've made it this far, I'm I'm sorry for rambling. I will post this because um, I made a couple videos and then I didn't post them. <laughs> So that's what I was doing. I was reevaluating things. And I mean, like, right now, I have tons of time to myself. And I mean, like, I'm pretty much on my own schedule. I can make time for people and stuff. Um, it's not restricting, it's not boring, it's not repetitive. Yeah, I don't get out of the house much. I wish I could look like this, but without the wrinkles, not like this. <laughs> okay, um, and I'm going to work on that. I, like I said, I've been thinking about a lot of things, a lot of things. Um, and I, I don't know. So if you've made it this far, you're probably one of the few people. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so what I was telling this guy I wanted. Okay, and please don't hold this against me because I'm a freak. Because we are talking about fantasies, like I said. And I don't know how to mix this in with being a normal person. But my dream relationship... And I've had something similar to this. Um, I know me and England guy used to talk about it, sort of. And it's not from lack of self-respect. Because I, I can just imagine comments like that now. It's not from a lack of self-respect. Because I do respect myself. We were talking about it. Like, okay. And I know the Juggalo and I joked about stuff like this, but I know he probably doesn't mean it. Because he tells me I'm too passive. And he wants someone who's an equal. And blah, blah, blah. And I tried being that, but he didn't want that. <laughs> I, he wanted me to not be his equal. It was like, okay, you told me you wanted me to be your equal, and I'm trying to act like it, and you're like, not having it. <sighs> it was just me. But okay. Like... Sorry. And it's weird because, like, with my ex best friend, I knew secretly I had the power. I may have taken orders from him and done what he wanted or did what he wanted. But, like, I really had the power. I just let him think he had the power. I never did anything I really didn't want to do. All the things he wanted me to do were things I wanted to do. But, um, I told him that my dream, my fantasy, whatever, was to have a daddy who cared and loved for me and protected me to be, you know, basically do my work. And while he's at work or doing whatever, I stay home and I cook and I clean and I have dinner waiting for him when he comes home. He gives me chores to do throughout the day. I love structure. <laughs> okay, I love being told what to do. I feel like a balloon if nobody's holding on to my string. <laughs> Party monster. <sighs> I'm like a balloon. Without anyone holding my string, I just float away. And I kind of do feel like that. <laughs> I want somebody to be like, this is what you're going to do today. This is what you're going to eat today. This is what exercises you're going to do. You know? 
like you're not allowed to do this or else you're gonna have this taken away or you're gonna get a spanking well no that would not be punishment you're gonna have this taken away <laughs> um yeah so <laughs> and you know like <sighs> this is the part that sounds bad I okay with my ex best friend not always but sometimes not always but sometimes I would sleep on the floor <laughs> Um, at the foot of the bed. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, like, if we had a twin bed or whatever, I would sleep on the floor. If there was carpet. If there was a floor, I would make him sleep on it. <clears throat> but, like, and... If I was good, I got to sleep in the bed. <laughs> I mean, like, when we lived together, this other place, we had a king-size bed, and we both slept in the bed. But it was on the floor. <laughs> I've always had beds on the floor. This is the first time I've ever had a bed that wasn't on the floor, to be honest. Okay, it's just a mattress on a box spring on the floor. But the box spring is definitely... A step up from what I'm used to <laughs> it was weird at first like honestly it used to have a frame <clears throat> but I got I left it at the other place but yeah I took it off because it was way too high for me um I don't know and like with my ex best friend not always I mean there's moments when we were normal and we interacted like normal people. You know, hey, Lori, can you do this? Or, I love you, Lori, or, you know, whatever. Then there'd be times, you know, where, you know, the mood would strike and it'd be like, hey, bitch, do this. Like, yes, daddy. <laughs> and <laughs> it made me so happy. And it's sad because like I'm missing that and like it's hard because when we live together honestly I was happy and I know I left <clears throat> and I know why I left I don't know because sometimes I just get these wild hairs on my ass like and he says the same thing and it's not that, like, I, I don't know. It's like society, what I want versus what society tells me I want. And it kind of clashes. And I get this wild hair up my ass, like, well, I don't think you should talk to me like that. Like, really? Because last night you were begging me to call you bitch. <laughs> I don't know like <sighs> yeah and I know he's demanding but I, I I work with that like he didn't like me doing things hanging out with people but I would find time for my friends and I would do go hang out with my friends and call my friends and make time for myself <sighs> he could get clean but I was like, no, you need to, like, go play handball so I can go do stuff for me. You know, and I'm going to go see a movie with Mariah without you. <laughs> um, yeah. I put my foot down when it needed to be foot down. I don't know. I mean, like, the reason I moved out... When we were living together was you know his drinking did get a little out of hand we were living in a motel room his drinking did get a little out of hand I got pissed off 
because he got this thing when he started like he was cheating on me which I didn't even buy it I'm honestly not even faced by being cheated on by him like I don't know it's a stupid thing <coughs> like a lot of people are like what's wrong with you I'm like sex is sex men cheat I don't know any man ever that's been faithful um But, like, he was cheating on me with the chick he's living with now. Um, and I don't know. I mean, like, he, I got my panties in a bunch and kind of threw a fit. And <clears throat> I don't know. Things kind of got hard after that. We fought a lot. And at this one point, he, like, ripped threw something out of the wall and it was like and he threw my computer and it was like <sighs> I'm leaving <laughs> and sometimes he gets drunk like that and he does things like that and honestly I wish there was a way I could get him to stop drinking well I wish there was a way I could get him to stop drinking so much Cause you know, and I know this sounds horrible, sometimes drinking can be fun. And he has the levels of drunkness, you know? If he knew when to stop, which I know he, he never will. He's an alcoholic. He'll never know when to stop. He'll never know when's enough enough. He'll never be able to drink one day and not drink for a, a week. I know that. He needs to stop drinking completely. I wish he didn't. But he needs to. And I don't know if that's something he'll ever do. Just like I don't know if losing a million pounds is something I'll ever do. Because we're both weak. <laughs> I wish he wouldn't smoke the spice. I wish he'd stop doing that. And there's got to be a way. Like... To be honest, that is part of the reason why I left. Because I did change him. When he smoked weed, he wasn't like he is now. <coughs> Spice is bad. <sighs> but I, I don't know. I just got in this mood tonight where I was like, I miss him. And I miss living with him. And I miss being with him. <clears throat> and it's not like loneliness. Because it's like, I keep looking for what I want. And it's like, I don't know if I'm ever going to find it. Because what I want is him. You know? And what I, I mean, like, I want that other guy in England too, but... I mean, like... But I want him... I want the way he talks to me when he's not being an asshole. And the way he talks to me when he is being an asshole. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. It's like, I don't know. So, enough about that. <laughs> And sometimes you don't know what you've got till it's gone and I wish I could have stayed and I could have worked on it but then again maybe I don't because <clears throat> maybe we need to be apart to be able to work on it and definitely he needs to get off spice I would not even move in with him until he's done smoking with spice so, the drinking I can handle. I've handled it forever. But the spice, he definitely needs, needs to get off of. Because I, it makes him really mean when he drinks. Gets past that, the happy point of drinking. Any smoking spice, he gets mean.
but whatever. And I know another thing that gets them mean, too, and I need to stop doing that. Like, you know, when people are fighting and it's like, you just say the meanest stuff. I dig into him. I say evil things. I'm a, sometimes I worry if I'm not a narcissist or something. Because, like, I say some really awful things. I, I did it to the Juggalo. I did, I've did. i done it to Paul forever. I've always kind of been a bitch to him. Even when we were first together, like back all those years ago when he was 17. Oh god, I was so mean to him. I was so mean to him. Because he used to be like, so sweet to me. He would bring me gifts he would sneak away to see me and he would sit there and just be like I love you and I would be like you don't know what love is you're just a kid and the only thing you I, I would say this to him the only thing you're good for you know <laughs> I won't finish that I had a boyfriend at the time too and I he knew it he 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 was like we were laying there in bed and after doing stuff and I wouldn't let him lay on a certain that certain side of the bed I was like no that's Alex's side of the bed and I'd be like you're you're you you'd never be my boyfriend all you're good for is your penis. And, um, <laughs> I, uh, would tell him he didn't know what love was. And I'd be like, just like, I could never love you. Which is so wrong. <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> Twelve years later. <laughs> I can't believe it's been like fucking 12 years. I've known this kid since he was 16 years old. And he's about to be 28. <sighs> Next week. <laughs> and I'm fucking 33. Birthdays, man. They make you think about stuff. <sighs> I, he's 28. He's almost 30. And both of our lives are still messed up. <sighs> I, I don't know. I'm just really confused. And I'm spending time to myself. Working on me. <sighs> and I think I'm going to call off looking to date somebody. Because honestly, I want to be with him or the Juggalo but I just need to work on me and be friends with these people and I need to be a friend to Paul but like at a distance <clears throat> cause okay like a couple of days ago he called me cause he went down to Hobbs and he was stuck down there and he didn't have any money for food and um <laughs> Instead of wiring him money, I sent him a gift card code so he could get Pizza Hut. So that way he couldn't buy spice or alcohol with the money. He could buy pizza and eat. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what I'm going to have to do now. I, I can't sit there and like let him not eat. You know? I could never do that. But I'm not going to give him money. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I'm weak, but I don't feel like I'm weak. Because I, I just don't, I, I don't know how to be strong enough to be, um, um, to not be there. I don't know.
But I would be like that with any friend. I mean, like, any friend. Like, a friend, friend that I know and love loyally. So. <laughs> Anyways, okay, this video is long enough. 40 minutes of rambling about crap, and I'm sure you guys stopped watching a while ago, which is understandable. And, um, if you made it this far, <laughs> I don't know. If you made it this far, let me know. Okay. Um, laters. <laughs>